Have you been watching South Park lately? Because the last few seasons have really been something else. And as it continues, it's just as strong as it's ever been. The show's previous season, its 19th, provided us with this overarching, gripping narrative about the changing dynamic of the town. And at the center of it all, there were two major catalysts to this sea change. PC principle and the ever-present threat of ads. You know the threat they're talking about. Ads are everywhere. You might have even seen one before this video. And according to South Park, ads have evolved so rapidly that they've developed their own artificial intelligence. Ads walking around disguised as humans. We even saw one in the character of Leslie. And at the end of the season, we see PC Principal and Leslie face off in a final confrontation that was... Maybe a bit rushed? If you think so, you're not alone. A lot of South Park's fans thought that the season kind of petered out into this really abrupt conclusion. But still, some fans think there's a reason for that. Despite what the show may have told us, the ad war is not over. If PC Principal is one of the champions against ads in South Park, which we saw at the end of the season, there's one big thing that makes you do a bit of a double take. At the end of episode eight of season 19, sponsored content, we learn the dark secret of the ad's intelligence. Shortly after, we see an ad for State Farm, which shows Leslie being pushed on a swing. Nothing unusual so far since, you know, Leslie's an ad herself, but who's that pushing her on the swing? It's none other than PC Principal himself. Because of his supposed connection Connection with Leslie before the events of the season finale, we have to ask, is PC Principal an ad? And if so, is he even aware of it? The strongest evidence for this theory is, of course, the ad we see PC Principal in with Leslie. This was unmistakably the biggest thing that got people talking about PC Principal's as of yet unknown origin. And since Leslie is clearly established as an ad, PC Principal's supposed close association with her is obviously worth questioning. But the weirdness with Leslie doesn't stop there. Throughout the whole season, one of the biggest running gags was PC Principal's antagonistic attitude towards Leslie. He picks on her more than anyone else, usually telling her to shut up when he sees her talking to somebody. Is it possible he does this because he knows the ads are trying to spread their influence to the kids, compromising Leslie at school functions in order to stop her? And if he actually does know the ad's plan, that would again make you question where he got this information from, unless he was an inside man. By the way, if you didn't watch the last season but you are watching this video, the ad's plan that I mentioned is that the ads wanted to spread toxically, causing gentrification throughout the world and consequently, according to Randy, pricing humans out of existence. Yeah, it was a bit of a weird season finale. But the link with Leslie isn't all we have to look to. PC Principal says in the season finale, PC Principal Final Justice, quote, I don't know what they are, but they use me and others like me to try to change the planet. We, the viewer, are probably meant to interpret this as the ads using PC culture in order to spread their influence, which is kind of obtuse and convoluted when you think about it. But remember, one of the last episodes in the season was named, and also mostly about, sponsored content. Ads masquerading as news stories in order to sell a product or push an agenda. And a lot of fans have noted that apart from politically correct, PC is also conveniently an acronym for another term. And no, not the one that Jimmy publishes in Super School News, a another acronym. Paid content. This has led some people to believe that PC principle could actually be a symbol for how these fake news articles are able to convince people of being something that they're not. In the case of sponsored or paid content, the goal is to make people believe that an ad is the news. And in PC Principal's case, his goal is to convince us that he's human. As well as doing some of that not-so-subtle social commentary that Trey Parker and Matt Stone have become known for. So is that it? Is PC Principal secretly an ad? Lying in wait, poised to strike back like Leslie said ads do in PC Principal Final Justice? This? Will we see a resurgence of the ad's presence in future seasons? Is there anything here we can expand upon? So, let's talk artificial intelligence. First, I want to talk about something called the Turing Test. For those unaware, the Turing Test was developed in 1950 by English mathematician, logician, and computer scientist Alan Turing. The goal of the experiment, in short, was to test a machine's ability to mimic human behavior. When Turing conceptualized the test, however, it originally was only intended for communication over text. Like, say, through a computer. This is because it's a reasonable way to achieve complete impartiality when testing. You can't tell who's sitting on the other side of a computer, whether it's a human or a... a computer. 
That's why the test is here. The actual setup of the test involved three components. The first party, a human, would converse with a second party, a computer, over text. The third party, an impartial human, would observe the text conversation playing out. They would then be asked to determine which of the participants was human and which a machine. If the observer couldn't reliably or confidently answer the question, the machine is then considered to have passed and succeeded in the imitation game. A term that's pretty self-explanatory. The Turing test has become incredibly well known and has become a staple of the philosophy of artificial intelligence. And while it's been met with its share of criticism, other similar types of tests and thought experiments have been added in an attempt to build onto this conversation. Things like John Searle's Chinese room argument. It's a really interesting response to the Turing test, and if I had more time to go into it, I would. You should check it out on your own time though, it's a really great read. But when it comes to the Turing test, a more tangible example that you might remember is Cleverbot. It and other efforts on the internet have a similar end goal. That goal being to learn how humans talk and then adapting to sound more like them until they become indistinguishable from humans. I actually went back to Cleverbot when writing this episode for old time's sake, and it told me that it didn't like Scary Story, and then it called me Richard, even though I never gave it my name, and then it asked me why I was in jail. So yeah, it's not exactly Skynet. But what does any of this have to do with South Park? Think back to the scene where Jimmy discovers Leslie's secret in sponsored content. All Jimmy does is talk to Leslie for a bit before realizing that she is, in fact, an ad. And the scene also provides the viewer with an unsettling atmosphere and music cues to give us the same realization. The scene appears to be its own spin on this kind of test. Only Jimmy plays both human roles in participant and observer in trying to determine if the other party is a machine or not. And and in this case, Leslie actually fails the test because Jimmy is able to tell she's an ad very quickly. And because Jimmy can, we also can because the scene is structured to make us feel the same way Jimmy does. This brings us to a pretty substantial point against PC Principal being an ad. Jimmy, who is said to have a unique gift for finding undercover ads, didn't notice or say anything that would suggest that PC Principal wasn't human, which seems to shoot down our theory fairly quickly. But who's to say PC Principal had and just passed this Turing-like test, skillfully pretending to be human with Jimmy and everyone else being none the wiser. Though if that previous point were true, it would also imply that PC Principal was the most advanced ad ever devised. In the 19th season, Leslie is shown to be the pinnacle of the ad's abilities when it comes to mimicking humans. But if PC Principal could actually successfully pass as a human, in an authority position no less, it would mean that PC Principal is leagues ahead of Leslie when it comes to AI. So if we're to accept the ads as their own sort of unseen super army that PC Principal was once a part of, why would he be a champion in the battle against ads? We would have to figure that he was never aware of his being an ad to begin with. Otherwise, it wouldn't make any sense for him to, you know, do the things he does in the season finale. Unless he's really, really ridiculously deep undercover. But it's equally possible he could have gone rogue. There's no shortage of sci-fi stories where an artificial intelligence gains awareness, and the reactions of the beings in these stories can range from pensive to vengeful to everything in between. PC Principal would, of course, land somewhere in the... in, in the vengeful area. But that's pretty baseless speculation. What can we take a look at that's already appeared in the show? Well, in PC Principal Final Justice, Randy, when showing his family the previously mentioned State Farm ad, says that putting PC Principal in the ad with Leslie was done intentionally by the ad... Hivemind? Collective? What do, I, what do I call it? The ads. Anyway, it was done intentionally to distract, mislead, and divert him which can be interpreted in a couple of ways. If we assume PC Principal isn't an ad, we can take everything Randy says at face value. PC Principal could have just been placed in the ad to confuse him and make him question things. But if you found yourself photoshopped into a situation that you clearly weren't in, would you freak out in the same way that PC Principal did at the end of sponsored content? Of course not, you'd probably just try to find out whoever, I don't know, hypothetically photoshopped you riding horses with Vladimir Putin, Eric! But if we assume PC Principal is an ad, this strategy would probably be more effective. If he's an artificial intelligence, that leaves the door open to tampering with his memory, making him unable to recall certain events, like, for example, the fact that he's an ad at all, which would certainly confuse him if he saw the truth that 
that he was an ad. It would drive him nuts, unsure of what's even real, which would explain his shock and disbelief at the end of the episode. Finally, let's talk about the doublespeak theory, that PC could stand for paid content as well as political correctness. It's no secret that PC principle is primarily used to poke fun at PC culture. That's right, folks, South Park may not actually be politically correct. We provide only the most shocking revelations here on Cartoon Conspiracy. But with that, there's no refuting that the PC and PC principles name definitely stands at least in part for politically correct. But that doesn't entirely discount the paid content argument either. When hearing about the ad's plan to gentrify the planet using PC, again, it sounds like a pretty roundabout way to go about it. But what if, when taking quotes directly from the show, for instance, PC Principal's words at the end of PC Principal Final Justice, your species took PC and twisted it for evil purposes, he actually is referring to paid content. In our own world, ads posing as news stories have an incredible power to mislead the public into believing something that isn't true, and they're often pretty successful at it. And that kind of paid content can lead to unpredictable consequences. So while the PC and PC Principal's name might not actually stand for paid content, there's undoubtedly some really impressive wordplay going on this season, whether it was intended by Trey Parker and Matt Stone or not. We've covered a lot of ground today and found a couple of ways to look at this theory, but at the end of the day, it's pretty hard to make a judgment on whether or not PC Principal is human. But if nothing else, we can absolutely confirm that if he is an ad, PC Principal has passed the Turing test with flying colors. And if he has... Who's to say others haven't as well? There's a lot more speculation we can make about this theory. Like, if PC Principal is still a threat, why hasn't he had much screen time this current season? But come on, 2016 was an election year. Trey Parker and Matt Stone weren't gonna let that slip through their fingers. So with all that said, is PC Principal an ad? Will he become a more important character in future seasons because of this? I honestly have no idea, but I'm leaning slightly towards him being human because some of the rational explanations we've provided, like photoshopping him into the ad, like Jimmy not saying anything about PC Principal because there's nothing to say. They all make pretty practical sense. So with that in mind, I'm going to rate the conspiracy of PC Principal being an ad two Whole Foods out of five. But what do you think? Do you think PC Principal might be an ad? Do you think his story will be explored more in later seasons? And what do you think of South Park's newfound relationship with continuity? Personally, I'm into it, but do you think it works or should the show go back to being more episodic? Be sure to sound off in the comments to let us know and also let us know if you have any conspiracy ideas you'd like us to take a look at in the future. Until then, be sure to like this video, and if this is your first time here, don't forget to subscribe to Channel Frederator for more cartoon conspiracies. Oh, wait a minute. That was... that was an ad, wasn't it? Man, they're so flippin' annoying. Wait a minute. Am I an ad?